Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Rashida. My today's video is going to be on Python's visualization. Uh, I'm going to make a series of visualization videos and for the first video I will keep it pretty basic. I will show you today how to make a line plot using pandas and also using matplotlib. So let's start. Import pandas as pd, import numpy as np. Okay. Now just import the data set p.redcsv. Students performance to CSV. I already have this data set uh, uploaded in the same folder as this Jupyter notebook. If you do not have this data set or any other data set that is suitable, please feel free to download it from the link in the description box below. All right, let's see how this data set looks. Here is the data set. We have gender, race and ethnicity, few other columns that we are not going to use, and math score, reading score, writing score. We will use only this race, ethnicity, and math score. Okay. So I'm going to plot the math score, average math score for each group. All right. So first, I'm going to do it using pandas libraries only. Okay. So df dot group by group by is a very important function uh, in pandas libraries if you haven't used it before or probably you used it but um, you need a little refresher please um, check the uh, link in the description box below i have few i have an article and also video then race ethnicity okay so group by race ethnicities, then math score. I'm sure you will understand what I'm doing and I am going to explain it soon. Main dot plot, okay? Look, race ethnicity group by. So we are going to group. So it's going to, it's gonna give you group A, B, C, D, how many group it has. And for each group, uh, on math score, it will take the mean and then plot that. Okay, it's going to be very clear when you will see the. Okay, look, group A, B, C, D, E. For each group, we have the average math score. Okay. So that was pretty easy, I'm sure. Now I'm, I will do it using Matplotlib, the same video, I mean, same visualization. But for that, we have to do a little more data preparation. So df group by. So we will get rid of everything and we'll just keep whatever we need, okay? df.group by race ethnic city dot aggregate. Okay, math score. Okay, for aggregate, you have to give it dictionary all right the first is the parameter and second is the aggregate function for us the aggregate function is mean and we're going to apply mean on math score okay so done let's see how it looks like so this is how it looks like pretty good right now let's change the name this name is not 
as clear or as nice. So raised columns. Look, in this data set, this is the only column it has, okay? Math score. Race and ethnicity, it's actually not a column, it's the index of the data frame. Index of this data, race, okay? So we have only one column. So the name of that one column is going to be average math score. All right, now let's see how the race, okay, the race, average math score. We just changed, we just changed this, okay? Data preparation is done. Now let's plot it. So first import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. This pyplot has all the plots. Okay. Now first plt.figure. plt.figure is just going to invoke the figure. It will just start the figure. Okay. And now we will give the plot function and here we have to provide the data. In x-axis it's going to be this race and ethnicity and race and ethnicity here is not a column, it's the index. So dfrace.index, okay? dfrace and in y-axis we are going to give this column average math score then plt dot x label uh, not x label first let's give a title to the plot okay title title should be something like average math score per Group plt dot x label. We're going to give a name to the x axis group. We are going to give a label to the y axis as well. Okay, average math score plt dot show. Okay. So it's going to show the plot. This is it. We have the title, average math score per group. Then we have DF race index. The index was race or ethnicity. That's what we have, group A, B, C, D, E. Average math score in the y-axis. So average math score here. Then title, average math score per group. Then X label group, Y label math score. Average math score, okay. Yeah, that's the y label. Then it shows the plot. So that's all I wanted to show you today. So uh, I'm going to make a series of uh, visualization videos uh, slowly, as I mentioned before. If you want to really see all those videos, please stay with me. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share if you want to. Thank you so much. See you soon.